We are more than conquerors, right? Hold on. Yeah. Um, Romans 8, 35, 39. 39, yep, that was it, 35 through 39, okay. Amen. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? No tribulation, no distress, persecution, no sword. As it is written, for the sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Hallelujah. Let's see, 39. Okay. Nay, with all these things, we are more than conquerors mm -hmm. from him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, hallelujah, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So mm -hmm. There is nothing, nothing, nothing that can separate us from the love of God. He loves us. We are his children, and he loves us. Nothing can separate Nothing. That's right. Nothing can Amen. separate. Amen. 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 The title is We Are More Than Conquerors. Yes. We are more than conquerors because He loves us. He has all power. He said, All power, not some of it. All power in heaven and earth belongs to Him. Amen. Yes. All powerful. All loving, all knowing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody else? So when we talk about, I know she talked about we are more than conquerors. So what, what right. is the conqueror? What is the conqueror? Um, For us to know that we are more than a conqueror. What what are we saying by we are more than a conqueror? We're overcomers, we're winners. Yep. Yes. Yes, that's it. We are victorious. Amen. Yes. yes. And I just I just want to say a a couple of things. Uh-huh. Um what uh she one of the things that, that she said that I thought was really good. It says the weight of the world was mm -hmm. on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. And with with that and Jones comment about we are more than conquerors, that means even though the weight of the show the weight was on us, we could conquer it. Yes. And also she said uh we should look to the hills from which cometh our help, because our help cometh from the Lord. Yes. And then she said, um, there was nothing that could separate us from the yes. love of God. Right. And she said, because Jesus loved us, mm -hmm. we cannot be separated from the love of God. Right. Completely. We are completely victorious. Right. And she also said the victory comes from God. God mm -hmm. has overcome the world. 
And she said, we are more than conquerors. And Joan said that. Mm-hmm. She said, I've already, I've already conquered what needs to be done. Mm-hmm. And we are. And we have conquered you. No, let me say, I'm more than conqueror. You Uh got to go through. Uh You've got to go through. Because I'm more than a conqueror. We got to go through. Amen. 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 Yes, we do. We got to go through in order in order for us to know that we are more than a conqueror. So as, um, um, Elder um, Joanne stated that we are we're winners. Amen. We're winners. So we gotta yes. go through this to know that we are definitely we are victorious. We are a victorious people. That's who Amen. we are. We are victorious. Anybody else Amen. Want to say what you got from the service on Sunday? <clears throat> there is no oh. way that. Thing can get between God's love for us. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. No. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Nothing can get between it. Amen. Keisha. Amen. Yes, I ma'am. Was- when y'all was talking about conquerors, I looked it up and it was saying that, like, you know, when um it's like winning a nation in a battle, but it's mm-hmm. it holy. <laughs> Do we win that nation in the battle, but we also carry off with the spoils. Mm, you know, yes. You know, but that's more than a conqueror. See, you conquer the nation. But when uh-huh. you carry off with what the what what with the spoils, that means you got more. More. That's more, right. You know, say that Amen. again. Say that again. You got when you when you when you win the battle and you conquer a nation, that's one thing. But when you carry right. out their spoils, when you take their their stuff that they had left, you right. get, get that stuff. That's right. more than a that's conqueror. Amen. Yes. I add it, add it on to your life. That's more than a that's conqueror. more than. That's right. You can't Amen. But you went in there with. Yes. Right. Yes, that's addition. We know that simple addition, you know, that's what they said, more than. So it's yes. more. Like you more. said, um, Minister Davine, like you said, we are going in. You can go in one way, <laughs> but we coming out two different ways. We 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 go in. We might go in with four, but we may come out with eight. That's right. That's right. We got Amen. more than. More than so, uh, and not they only don't we come out with eight, but we don't conquer that nation too. Yes, yes, yes. We uh, that's that's something that gets me excited because we are not a defeated people. Yes, Amen. we are not defeated. Yeah. We are not defeated at all. Oh, sure. We are more Amen. than conquerors because yes. nothing shall separate us from his love yes. so since he loves us and he overcame the world uh-huh hallelujah how much more more than that's what god says more than I've already, I've already overcome yes mm. i've already yes. overcome Amen. Yes. So now we go into battle. We gonna overcome too, but we gonna also overcome. We gonna conquer. We gonna overtake. But when yes. we leave, we have more than what we came in with. Now who yes. would serve a God like that? That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else got something from Sunday's message? Whether again, whether it was from the ushers to think to the songs, whatever you want to talk about um, from Sunday. Well, I would like to say this about verse thirty-five and the NLT. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It asks a question, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure a lot of us have asked ourselves this question: Does it mean? He no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death. 
And then it comes back to say in verse 2, as the scriptures say, for your sake, we are killed every day. Mm -hmm. Sounds harsh, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> we are being slaughtered like sheep. Mm -hmm. No, despite all these things, overwhelming, that's what the NLT says, yep. is ours through Christ who loved us. So what that means is whatever you're going through, mm -hmm. don't ever think that his love is not there. It's not abiding. That's right. That's right. You have to abide in his love no matter what your circumstances are. Yep. Knowing that you have the victory. Yep. That's that's Amen. what it's all about. It's, it's going through. Yep. It didn't say you 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 ain't going through nothing. Right. <laughs> we right. Can rejoice and shout all we want to. Yay! And all these things. Yes. But are you gonna say that when calamity strikes? Right. Mm. Or persecution. Mm. Or, you might even be hungry. You might might not have nowhere to live. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna say? Yay. Mm. Amen. As long as as long as he holds in your hand, you'll say it. You but you can't let go Amen. of his hand. You you got you can't let go of his hand. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The thing is, it's not that he's trying to kill us. He's trying to make us over again. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, sometimes when you're made over, you gotta be put on what's what's that wheel they talk about? The the wheel. Wheel. <laughs> mm. You get on that wheel, Lord. That don't feel good. No, yeah, because listen. when you when you get on that potter's wheel, it's a steady it's a steady movement. Yeah. But in steady movement, you always moving. You can God is taking off everything that is not That's supposed to be there to shape it mm. and mold it. Into what is into what we are created to be. So you're absolutely right. Amen. Though, right? Yeah, so we got to get past that part so we can go to yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even with the a lot of us, a lot of us have been. I know I have. I won't say yay. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm saying, Lord, get me out of this thing. Uh huh. We have. <laughs> look, mm -hmm. look. You're right, and you got to remember to say yay. Don't yeah, got to remember to say yay. Yay. And all these things. So I walk through the valley Come of on. the shadow of death. I will fear no huh? evil. Yes, I'm outside. It's huh? cold. I don't have no house. But yay, though I walk. Yeah, as long come as on. You finish it with thou I Amen. walk. Amen. You'll be all right. We'll be fine. We just got to remember the other sentences that come out the, the other words that come out to that yay, even in troubled times. Yes. It is hard. Amen. It's hard. Mm -hmm. But you said yay, though I walk. With you. Mm. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Minister, Minister Darby, you made a real good point. More. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You go through the fire, you coming out with more. Mm. Amen. Yep. You coming out with more. She that was a very good point that she made. Yeah, well, very, good. very good point. Yes. Not yes. only that, like she said, you're going to conquer the nation. That's just not a city. No. Mm. That's, mm. Not That's a state. nation. That's a nation. That's why yeah. you have to say it again, Minister Davine. You're going to conquer the nation, but not only are you going to conquer the nation, but you're going to come out with their spores. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. All their riches, all their goals, all their God say more than, more than. Yes. Yes, more than. That's the two, that's the two key words right there. More than. That's it. Amen. 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 Anybody else got anything from Sunday? I do. Um to I guess to piggyback off of being a conqueror and then just leading by example, Debo move. Uh, Miss Loretta, even though you know she did not feel well, had a boot and everything, you could see that she was in obvious pain. But mm -hmm. because of you know the strength of God and 
wanted to push further and, you know, just be there for the usher board and, you know, changing it on, and, you know, on behalf of pastor, I mean, a bishop, it was just, it, I feel like it flowed with what um assistant pastor was talking about with being a conqueror because she showed us that she is more than a conqueror, you know, conquering that because the devil didn't want her to be there. She didn't feel like it. They didn't want to make the certificates the day before, but she pushed through. Yeah. Yep. Good point. Amen. That's a good point. Amen. It's a good point. Excellent point. Amen. Hey, that's that yay in all these things. Yes. That's what Amen. that is. That was a great point, Tiffany. Um, just the strength that that goes back, the strength in the heart of God that still, although all these things weren't working together. I'm still, there's no, still no separation from his love. Still nothing. Nothing can separate us from it. Amen. And, 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 and Amen. It, it uh -huh. says that, you know, death nor life nor neither angels nor demons. Yeah. Neither nor our, demons. Listen to this. Neither our fears. Neither. For today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the yep. powers of hell. Yep. Neither. Neither. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. Say, Nothing. Love us regardless. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it says nor anything else in all creation. Right. That's it. Amen. So it's nothing. 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 Amen. Nothing. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. God said, I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. The world. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And we know he loves us. Yes. yes. We just got to be reminded. Because when you go through stuff, sometimes you don't feel like he loves you. Yeah. That's Amen. true. But Bishop Amen. used to always say, feelings ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm feeling right. Right. Amen. Look, I feel something. So what mm -hmm. you <laughs> I, I I sometimes want to <laughs> preach on that because feelings because feelings don't have nothing to do with it. Right. Feelings don't because the Bible says, and I don't want to get off track, but the Bible says that above all, what is desperately wicked? Yes. Our mm. heart. Mm. The heart. Mm. So yes. feelings. Oh, Jesus. Feelings have, and I'm getting into my Bible study. I'm getting into it tonight. I'm getting into it right now. But feelings don't have nothing to do with it. We, I, I say this thing at work. I have to manage by fact. Yes. Feelings don't have nothing to do with it. As long as I have the facts. And the facts are nothing can separate me from his love. The Amen. fact is Amen. I am Amen. more than a conqueror. The fact is, like you said, Lori, yea, though I walk through the valley mm. of the shadow of death, mm. I will fear mm. no evil, for oh, thou was... art with we, we... me. Thy rod Hallelujah. and thy staff, they comfort mm. me. Mm. While yeah. I'm walking through the valley, y'all getting excited, but go ahead, mm. go ahead, mm. Dr. Mm. Dr. <laughs> Because <laughs> I did a whole thing. And hey, look, my faith is not my feelings. That's Amen. right. Amen. Feelings have nothing to do with it. So when we go in with our feelings, that's nothing. That's nothing. Amen. Amen. That's nothing. Because the Bible says that above all, our, our heart is desperately wicked. Mm -hmm. We got to know the facts. Right. Amen. And it say men are deceitful in all their ways. So yes. mm. that's you what it says. Facts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. And just so y'all, just so y'all know, I'm, I'm, I'm the Bible study lesson tonight is stick to the facts and faith. <laughs> but go ahead, <laughs> stick to facts and faith. See, Keisha, I, I didn't feel good until I opened my mouth. See, sometimes you get pressed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord, Lord have mercy. Mm hmm. <laughs> You, yeah, you do. Yeah, you, you just gotta open your mouth and say something. Yeah, like like Tiffany <laughs> said, uh, Loretta Press. Yes. Oh mm. God. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yep. That's it. 
That's it. We got to. Because if she we, won the press, then the whole thing would have been canceled. Yeah. And that wasn't the mm-hmm. will of God. Yes. yes. And she can't remember is mm. what is the will in this situation? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Yep. Yes, so why thank we you. Gotta know. Yeah, we just got to know that our God loves us. Yeah. Our God loves Amen. us. Amen. So, but, Amen. Um, I think it's in Hebrews, it may not be that it says no man can snatch you out of his hand. His hand can pluck you Hallelujah. out of his hand. Yes. yes. You, mm. you mm. can't even pluck you. Nope. Out of his Amen. hand. Amen. Nope. So we have Amen. Blessed for showing. Jesus yep. is mine. Oh, Lord. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is this is good. This is good. Like I said, I mean, it's tying into what we are going to talk about. Um, what we're going to talk about tonight. And I just thank God for each and every last one of you all being on a call tonight. I do believe, and I always say, um, that something good is going to happen through all of us um, Amen. today or something good is going to happen to us. That's just something that, you know, I live, I, I try, you know, I live by um, the, the, the decrees and the declarations. But if we don't have, I know it is going on, it's 730 now. Um, we can, if anybody doesn't have anything else to say about um Sunday service. We can go ahead into the Bible study. That's okay. Amen. Amen. So Amen. um I know like again Pastor is not here. He he laid it for for Keisha to lead Bible study um tonight and I'm just so excited, grateful and honored to um share the word with you all on tonight where we can talk about Jesus and his goodness and and all of his many wonders. Now, I know pastor would normally send out the scriptures, but I didn't have everybody's information. But um I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read. We're going to we're going to go back to the beginning. Um we're going to go to Genesis chapter 3. Genesis 3. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to be reading from the NIV, but we're going to start at the first verse. Um, it says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Um, verse 2 is... The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. Verse three, but God did say, you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die. Verse four says, you will you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Verse six, when the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Verse eight, then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God said to them, where are you? Verse 10, he answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Then man said, the woman you put here, (laughs) sorry, the woman you put here with me, I just want to blame. She gave me some fruit from the tree 
and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? Amen. So we're going to touch on some stuff tonight. And like, like I said, the topic that we're going to touch on is sticking to facts and faith. I know I have some of my ladies from the Lyft group on um, tonight. And so we talked a little bit about this on Monday night. And God told me to, to continue to share this word. Um, verse 1, it says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So when he says that the serpent, God said, don't eat from the tree, right? Right. Right. He said, yeah. don't, 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 yeah. don't eat from the tree of good and evil. And then here comes that old ugly serpent. And when God said, don't eat from the tree, that's a statement. And the statement ends with a what? Oh, a period. Mm -hmm. Right? So he made that statement. That's just like you going out there telling your, your, your child, don't you touch that. And I mean what I say. That ends with the period, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. But then here comes the craftiness of the serpent. And he always comes back with a question. And he said, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? So that's there's how, that's, did somebody say something? I was just saying, there's that doubt. He put that doubt in her head. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. When God says, we can go back to what we, we were just talking about. We were talking about that nothing can separate us from his love. And then by the enemy being so crafty, he's going to come back in with the question. You sure nothing can separate you from his love? <laughs> Have mercy. <laughs> Did God really say that you are more than a conqueror? Mm. Did God say that he's going to walk with you through that valley? Alley of the shadow of death? Are you sure that you don't have to fear no evil? Are you sure that that job is for you and God gave it to you? Are you sure that's the house for you? God gave, God said, I want you to give you specific directions and told you this is what's for you. But because the enemy is so crafty, he's going to so seeds of discord and just like Lori said that's when that doubt is going to come in when he says I have not given you a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind but we have an enemy that's gonna come and start sowing those seeds of discord and they're going to come, he's going to come with questions. Has that ever happened to anybody? Amen. Amen. Has that happened? That you know without a shadow of a doubt that God told you this is what it is. And here comes the enemy sowing that seed of discord or doubt in your mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's crafty with it. And that's what the Bible says, how he is, he's crafty. So mm. then we go back. Y'all check this out. Then the woman said to the serpent, now you want to have a conversation with him. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, uh, he already, he gave you, he gave Eve, Adam and Eve instruction. You can have everything here, you have dominion. But one thing you cannot do is eat from the tree of knowledge or the tree of good and evil. 
That's all he said. But everything else you can have. So the serpent comes and he poses the first question. Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? So Eve's going to come back and answer him. The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die. Oh, oh, oh. He may die spiritually. <laughs> he was talking about dying in, in all that we they, they knew mm -hmm. as far as the love for him, the love he had for them, no doubt, no fear, no mm -hmm. question of anything. That's what that's what died. Right. But they knew the fear. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. That they died spiritually. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But do you see Eve? Do y'all see right here? Eve even gave. <laughs> do y'all see? I was just reading and studying this. Eve even gave the location of the tree. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eve, yep. I didn't even see that. That was good. Wow. She said, we may eat fruit from the trees. So she's saying that, yeah, we can eat fruit from the trees. But God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle, the middle. of the garden. Mm -hmm. And you must not touch it or you will die. So she's given the serpent and he's so crafty. She's given the serpent the location. And then if you eat from that tree, what's going to happen? So then what did the enemy say? You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. Mm -hmm. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be open, will be open. Mm -hmm. and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Mm -hmm. So there he goes again. You will not certainly die. The serpent said to the woman, after she said, if I eat from it, I'm going to die. And then here's the enemy again. No, you're not going to die. You're going to be all right. She you're going to be all right. Mouth. Huh? And sometimes it's I the conversation. She shouldn't open her mouth. Exactly. Yeah, the right. conversation the instructions was, was given to Adam anyway. Right. Right. In the beginning. Mm-hmm. And he had the knowledge. He had the knowledge. And but mm -hmm. by her opening up her mouth, the enemy played on her 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 mouth. Exactly. Still exactly. here uh -huh. and destroyed. Uh huh. And as he's standing right there, he the one got the instructions. He he the one should have stepped in for real for real. <laughs> but it seemed like, but it seemed like she was the weakest link. Because he went directly to her. She's the weakest link. Because God didn't get the instructions to her. He gave them to Adam. But she was minding, but she was minding Adam business. That's what it was. She was being nosy. You know how we do sometimes. But, but, but let's look at the woman's posture. Okay. She was already in the place where she was looking at the tree. Okay. And it was looking good. So it didn't take much. Mm -mm. to convince her. See, what God does is he sends your enemy to show you what's inside of you. Mm. Yeah. So she was already, because after the woman was convinced, mm -hmm. the words that she saw that the tree was beautiful and his fruit looked delicious, mm -hmm. she wanted the wisdom it would give her. The enemy didn't say about no wisdom. That's right. Yeah. She wanted the wisdom. Mm -hmm. See, we're talking right here. See, mm -hmm. right in Genesis, we see the lust of the eye, mm -hmm. pride of life, mm -hmm. and lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. It didn't take much. Yes. Because, yeah, because, yeah Adam was there. It, I mean, he was the one ultimately responsible. He should have said something. Yeah, but and then when she when she gave it to him, he didn't even say I need that. He took right. it. Right, knock it out her hand. 
<laughs> Here we go. And, and okay, so look at this. Like you said just now, um, I see that her posture, she was already looking at the tree. Yeah. But then we got to look at the company that she was around. So she was already mm. around that serpent, right? Which we know is the enemy, right? Right. And he wanted to be God up in heaven anyway. Right. So yeah, why don't you eat that and you'll get thrown out like me and then you'll be with me. So watch the company you keep. Oh my God, my God. Amen. Have mercy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So so even when we we still watch, that's that's just letting us know that temptation is always there. That's right. Temptation is always around you. I don't care how holy or how sanctified you are. We all are tempted. Yes. We all are tempted. Amen. Yes. So what do we do with that temptation? That's why tonight we got to stick to the facts and our faith. The facts Amen. are... God has given us instructions for life. And yeah. faith comes by what? Hearing. 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 Yeah. Hearing what? The, the word. word. The word of the God. Word. So if we don't hear the word of God, then we lack what? Knowledge. knowledge. We lack knowledge. We lack faith. With, with we lack what else? Wisdom. What Wisdom. else do we lack? Understanding. Understanding. Anything else? We on the roll. Sometimes common sense. Common sense. <laughs> I heard. Did somebody say trust? Yeah. I didn't trust. Trust. Yeah. So when we don't, when we don't open up our Bibles, and when we don't let God be our priority that's what we're lacking and then that's how the serpent comes in and when the serpent comes in we sometimes fall into those temptations has anybody ever fought fell into a temptation i know i have yes ma'am yes especially yes. if you know you're not supposed to be there and you show up you show up that's right Anybody ever had, that's a good point, Elder Rest, where God is saying, no, don't go here. You feel it within your spirit. You feel it within your bones. You're not supposed to be at some place, but you want to go so bad. Well, my friend going, Sally, going, and this person going, they're going to be there. I want to be there, too. And you go, and then something happens. Good point. Very good point. That's the point of a wit and trying to get to with what you're saying. That's the good point. He who without falling into temptation cast the first load. We all mm. have fallen into temptation. That's right. We yeah. all, and you know what? I wanted to get to the point, but I burn it so hard. But when the Bible said that um, she gave to her husband who was, you know, with her in the garden with her. Right. Know, Mm -hmm. Now, I, I listened to what God said as when he walked up in the cool in the garden. Yep. You know, he said, he, he first he said, um, what is this woman? What is this you have done? Right. That's what but he said. But the thing that catch me is what you said about Adam. God hmm. said, Adam, because you have hearkened mm. to the voice of your wife. Of your wife. That's it. Now, what that mean to me? Mm -hmm. What I'm seeing with the Bible right here. Adams and Eve had a conversation. Mm -hmm. And the word says, out of your heart yep. come the issues of life. Of the issues of life. And I found that out by looking at Jesus. When Jesus went to raise Lazarus, and uh -huh. saw Mary crying with the people crying. The spirit, the word said, the spirit in him 
grown. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know I don't hear this preach a thousand times. The shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. Jesus wept. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you know what that means? That just don't mean that's the shortest verse out of the Bible. Out of the ish, out of his heart. Mm. came the issues of love, life for um, rather, yep. and Jesus started crying. Mm -hmm. He cried just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Adam, out of the heart, come to issue. He done been in that garden. No matter how long he been in that garden without Eve, he just did not want to be by himself without by Eve. Himself. Mm -hmm. And he made a choice not to pay attention to what God said. Yes. But he paid attention to what his wife said. What his wife mm -hmm. said. And he ate. Because his heart was like, now I'm saying this to Sam. Mm -hmm. Jerry, I'd rather be with you than without you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was it. That was it. Yep. That was it. Yep. And he and God said it. That's how I picked it up. God said, because mm -hmm. you hawk into the they they talk. Then she just turned the turn around here. I got a fruit, let's eat. They talk. So, you know, where you get this from? Yeah, but here you mm -hmm. got a fruit, let's eat. Did you get this from the middle of the tree? God said not to get it from. Yeah. But look, I can see things, I can feel things. And now they got a conversation going on. Yeah, they got a but conversation. He failed. He failed because he would rather listen to Eve than listen to God. Then I listen to you, God. You, you, you bring that one out, me. I was going to be quiet, but <laughs> you, the, the conversation just brought it out. Amen. Amen. But that, that's facts. That's facts. So that's why we got to stick to the facts. And the facts was, like you just stated, was God said, don't do it. Period. Point blank. Period. Yep. That's the fact. But now that you allow the enemy to come in with the question that ruled out the fact. So now you because got another fact. Now you got another thing. Because with the question, right, we know with the question, somebody asked a question, you're looking for an answer. And Eve gave all of the answers, the location. She gonna get a location. He was a snip. <laughs> Eve gave the location of the tree. Eve also gave the conversation that he, like um, Minister Davine said, he gave Adam the instructions. Eve should have kept her mouth quiet, but Eve goes on and gives the serpent the location and what's going to happen if I eat from this tree. And the enemy going to come back and say, you won't surely die. Basically saying, nothing is going to happen to you if you eat from this tree. But it still states the facts. So my thing tonight is, when you, we got to know this word, the Bible says, thine word Hath I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thy word. So every day we got to take this word, eat it and apply it. Study it and apply it. We got to apply it to our day to day because we know that the enemy comes to do what? Kill, steal, kill, kill, steal, and destroy. So he, and then the Bible also says that he was crafty. Mm -hmm. He was crafty. So the enemy is cunning. He's yeah. manipulative. He's delusional. He's confusing. He's a liar. But he's going to come with these questions. And so when he says, we can go back, you sure you're more than a conqueror? You sure that you can take nations and come out with more than? You got to know for yourself. You got to know. Amen. So my question tonight is, how do we respond to the enemy? 
<laughs> ignore him. You ignore him. How else? How how else will we? How how else do we respond? Come back with the word. Oh, God's word. Come that come back with the word. I heard that twice. Yes, we got two people coming back with the word. That's right. How else will you respond? I, I just want to add, Keisha, because you know when Jesus was in the garden, every time he came yeah. back on the enemy, he would say, "It is written." Right. Yes, it's written. And so if Jesus had to use the word. Who are we? Right. Yep. Mm. When we're coming up against the enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We yes. got to just tell them. Like, right. and like you said, um, he didn't bit won't know nothing about that tree. See, nope. people get enemy credit. for He don't know it. You the one got to open your mouth. Yeah. You know, and show mm -hmm. them where your temptation is. Yep. Otherwise, he's not going to know. Yep. He don't have that kind of power. That's right. And we have to understand and know the character of God. Exactly. When we know and understand God's character, we can say all day, and we can say God is. God is, is what? What is God to you? Everything. My father, yeah, my everything. everything. Awesome. Everything. All what else? All in all. Say that Everything. again. I'm sorry. All in all. All in all. My God. He's he's my provider. He's provider. Yes. Mm -hmm. Healer. Deliverer. Healer. My Deliverer. Friend. Friend. He's our savior. He's our savior. My shepherd. Our savior. Mm -hmm. He's our shepherd. Mm -hmm. So okay. God is all of this. Now, let's stick to the facts. What are his promises over your life? What are some of the promises that God has stated? There are over 8,000 promises in the Bible alone for us. What We're going to stick to the facts tonight because what we got to do is we have to fight this enemy that we know that's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. And if we know God has never, ever, ever lost a battle, he never will. He He's not going to lose a battle concerning your life. We got to stick to the facts. And once we stick to the facts, then our faith is going to take us where we need to go. Hallelujah. Amen. Our faith. Amen. Because now faith is the substance of mm -hmm. things hoped Hope for. Yeah. And it is the evidence of things that we have not seen. So our faith is going to begin to move mountains. Why? Because of the character of God and his promises that are over our lives. Good God Almighty. So what are some of the promises that God has given you all? What are some of the promises? Call on me and I'll call on me. Uh -huh. And I'll talk into your voice. Okay. Talk into your I'll voice. Never, That's it. Never so, leave you never, nor Yes. Never, never leave me nor forsake me. Uh huh. Never yeah, keep the imperfect pieces, mind and state on me. Yep. You will instruct and teach thee in that way which thou shalt go. Thou shalt go. That's it. That's right. What else we got? The Lord is my shepherd. Ah, yeah. Tell you things yeah. you have. I'll tell you things you don't know nothing about. Yep. 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 Anybody else? He said, "If we make him his uh, our trust, we will be blessed. A blessed name. A blessed man." Okay. That's Psalms forty and four. Okay. Yes. And blessing the country. Anything else? And receive and the great is thy life. faithfulness. Okay. Receive the son and have everlasting life. Everlasting life. That's it. Anything he said, else? Uh, he said, I will strengthen you and help mm. you. Yep. I will uphold you with mm. my righteous right hand. Right hand. Yes. That's Isaiah 41 10. So he said, uh -huh. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not yes. be dismayed, for yep. I am your God. Yep. Let not your heart be troubled. Yes. 
And no the Lord is form. my yes. shepherd. The Lord is, yep, no weapon formed. Amen. Amen. That's my favorite, Mr. Cox. <laughs> Touch mm -hmm. not my anointed and do my yep. prophet no harm. My prophet no harm. And his yep. word is a lamp unto my feet. And, and a light. To my path. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And then uh, in Matthew, he says, come to me, all ye who are weary and burdened. And mm -hmm. I will give you rest. I will. I will. Take yep. my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for yourself. Amen. Amen. Drink of my word, and you shall thirst no more. And thirst no more. The word I give, you will thirst no more. Uh huh. Mm. When a man ways please the Lord, he'll make his enemies at peace with him. At peace with him. That's it. Mm. He will set a mm. table for four of my enemies, right? For me to eat or something like that. What I'm trying to say. He will <laughs> set prepare a table <laughs> for me in the presence of, my, of enemies. my enemies. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lean not unto thine own understanding, but on our way. Yep. Acknowledge him. And I know he won't direct my peace. Yep. So y'all know what? Those are facts. Right. Yes. So facts. Those Amen. are facts. Those are facts. Yes. I can't say that enough that those are facts. Those are the promises that God has over your life. So when you come up against anything, just like we talked from um, the message on Sunday, that we know that we are more than a conqueror, that we know without a shadow of a doubt that God hears. All we have to do is call unto him, Jeremiah 33 and 3, and he will answer us and he will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. Isaiah 43, he says, I will be with you. When you walk through the through the fire, you will not get burned. All right, now. When you go through the water, you won't drown. Because, and then the further down, he says, I'm doing a new thing. Shall ye not know it? Mm. Those are facts. That the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's a fact. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. That's a fact that no weapon formed against me will be able to prosper. And every, every tongue that rises up against me will be condemned. That's a Hallelujah. fact. That's a fact, y'all. That's a fact. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. That's a fact. Amen. That's a fact. So we got to stick to the fact. And now our faith will begin to be charged up. Our faith will begin to rise up that we can begin to speak to those mountains and be thou removed because we have spent quality time with God and we know his character. His character is that he's never going to give up on us. He's never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. He never slumbers nor sleeps. Although Eve did this God was still loving to them. Yeah. He still loved them. Yeah. Yep, because right after they did what they did, what did he do? He covered them. He covered them. So yeah. I came to tell y'all tonight, again, we still stick at how all of this is tied in, that nothing can separate you from his love. He still covered Adam and Eve and he asked them a question who told you that you were naked mm. <laughs> he already knew so there is no sin that can be hidden from God come on amen 
Yeah. There is nothing that you can do that, that, that you can hide from him. He already knows. And yeah. so when he comes back to you and says, who told you that you were naked? <laughs> who told you? Amen. You know, um, mm -hmm, go ahead. Keith, I was sitting here thinking, I said, if Adam would have stood up, <laughs> and did what you uh -huh. and spoke the facts to mm -hmm. the enemy, that thing yeah. would have went a whole different way. Uh, oh, amen. Different mm -hmm. Yes, Sometimes right. We, and that's what we got to do. We got to stand up. We do. Amen. Yeah. But, but we have a redeemer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do have a redeemer. We do. We definitely do. Amen. 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 That he still covers us because the Bible does say, what is it? Love covers a multitude of sin. Of all things. Yes, of sin. So we going to go ahead. I'm sorry. You asked a question earlier and uh, about what, what she should have done with mm -hmm. the enemy. And James 4, 7 says, Submit yourselves, then uh -huh. uh, mm. resist the devil. Uh -huh. He will flee from you. He will. Yeah, Dave, it could have went another way. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The same with us. That's yep. an example for us. <laughs> that is. Sitting, look, I've been sitting having whole conversations with the devil. You a liar. Yep. And all I gotta do is resist them. That's yep. it. <laughs> Amen. You're a liar, straight from the piss of hell. Well, he already know what he is. I don't have to remind him. Yep. <laughs> and that goes to that goes too true for us who are overthinkers. I tend to overthink. Yes. I'll be the, the, the person that uh that'll figure out everything before I actually do it. And now I'm learning, and what's that? Second Corinthians ten and five. How I have to take every thought captive. That's right. Don't yes. pet that dog. Don't pet that thought. I tell myself, quit. Don't yeah. pet that dog. You better go yeah. get your Bible and read. Don't yes. pet that. That's it. But I'm, I'm God, like that too, Elder. I've been trying to figure mm -hmm. out things. After I didn't ask God, then I turn around trying to work it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then sing the song, Jesus, we'll work it out if you like. Sir Keisha, that yes. was I was going to say because mm -hmm. when you said um, you must submit it to God first. Right. Submit yes. unto God and then resist the devil. Yes, because you are Amen. what you need. The Lord knows how to put Satan in place. Yes, yes. he does. Yes, he does. And when you submit unto him, you remember what he's promised to you. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm. You remember his words. And you could truly divide the word of truth to him because yes. where you getting it from. Yes. You're getting it from the main source. Yes, Jesus. Yes. You, you know so, that, 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 uh, that demon said uh, uh, Paul I know <laughs> and, and Jesus I know <laughs> but but who are you? Who are you? you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we Sometimes I know I have in confession, wanna submit to the Lord, gonna submit to the Lord. Uh -huh. I will submit to the Lord. Uh-huh. But, but I remember something a young minister said one one evening we were in the church right there in Greater Mount Zion uh -huh. about having a burning passion. And if we don't have the spirit, if we didn't walk it in the spirit, boy, your flesh is set on fire and you don't know, you, you know, you don't, you have good intentions, but the scripture said, I listened to it last night, that the spirit is, 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 is strong, willing, yep. but the flesh, the flesh is weak, is weak. 
Yes. Yes. You know, and I know that sometimes we go ahead of God and, and try to get it fixed and done and fall into a trap set just to get you in a hole. Yes. And sometimes that hole be so deep, Lord. Oh boy, and then when you get to the bottom, you got thorns and thistles and stickies and mm -hmm. hammers. Uh, yep. Yep. But I I just I just really want us to be encouraged tonight. Just so encouraged to stick to the facts Amen. and faith. Because the truth is God has always and will always be in the business of pursuing sinful people with his kindness before we ever even pursue him. He's always been faithful to fulfill his promises towards us. And he has always been both merciful. He's been merciful, holy, loving, sovereign, and unchanging. So although Adam and Eve, they sinned against him, we sinned against God. Yeah, Lord. Yes. We've done things. We have done things. But still, God, just in, Hallelujah. His, just in his character, just how loving he is. Amen. If we think about how loving God is, when we knew we messed up, he still loved us. When we Hallelujah. knew we should be at that place, he still loved us. When we knew yes. we were wrong for doing what we did, or we knew we were wrong for lying, or we knew we were wrong for stealing, or we knew we were wrong for so many things, gossiping, we knew we were wrong. God never turned his back on us. He still, he still, he still, he still loved us. Hallelujah. Glory. And he covered us. And he allows us to go through these things to, to know, to let us know he loves us. Yes. Amen. Yes. You know, because sometimes you can feel so condemned. You feel like mm -hmm. and we're no, there's no condemnation. None. Those who are in Christ Jesus. But if we get caught up in our mess, then we can... Mm -hmm mistakenly walk into condemnation. We can. Mm. And see, that's where the enemy come in. Lord, like Lord said, he he spreads doubt. He does. Did God really say he was going to forgive you for that sin? Mm. Mm. Did they, you think, wait a minute, that's, they're different sins. Did God tell you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> he forgives so some people. I feel it tonight need to be free mm -hmm. from their condemnation. I feel it. There is no guilt, hurt, shame, or defeat that will keep you from his love. Hallelujah. There is no guilt, no hurt, no shame, or defeat that will keep God's hand from you. He's not going to say that I, I'm not going to I'm not going to give this to you. When he look at the woman who was caught in the act of adultery. He said, I know that the man that you're with now is not your husband. He told her that. And then when he wrote down, the Bible says that when he even started writing down in the dirt, it didn't say what he wrote down, but he started writing something down. Oh, no, that's two different stories. So when he, when, oh, that's two different ones? Yeah, one of them was the lady at the well. At the well, that's right. Yeah. Th that's and right, the, the other lady one at the was well. the lady caught in adultery. In adultery, yeah. but, that's right. But, but you know what? While you were saying that, God was showing me, you know what? The lady at the well, he caught her just as well. Because mm -hmm. he, he, he told her, yeah, and you're right. The one you would right now ain't even your husband. Ain't even your husband. <laughs> you, yep. You've been with five other men who were five. not your husband. Yep. Caught her in adultery. That's the same story when it comes to the, the meaning what God was doing, what Jesus was doing. She was caught up in adultery just as well. 
Right. And she was we are. Yeah, we were we were talking about the lady would with the Pharisees brought to Jesus. They ain't bring the man, but they bring the lady. Right. And um, they brought the lady. Yeah. I mean, if they caught her in adultery, but then then they catch the man too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know that's a that was a setup. That was a setup. Mm -hmm. You see, so <laughs> when we we were studying that about five Saturdays ago, and then mm -hmm. we asked. Ask the question, what did Jesus write on the ground? And all the people was around who was looking, those people understood uh Jesus was a Jew. So if you wrote Jewish stuff on the ground, they understood. Right. The hypothesis was he must have been writing sins. Sin. On the ground. That's right. Yep. I said that he was either writing sins or some names and the dates. There you go. There what you, go. you were doing. <laughs> which caused them to leave. That's what he said. That's what he said. But I just wanted to encourage y'all tonight to stick to the fact. Stick to the facts and faith. Stick to the facts. Well, fact. one of the facts is he know what we do. Yes. <laughs> Amen. You can't hide from God. You can't. Amen. So, so yeah, why do we hide amazing. from man if we can't hide from God? Yep. See, we be trying to act a certain way around man, but God knows what you're doing and what you ain't doing. Mm -hmm. He knows you. Yes, he does. Amen. So what he trying to do is get out of you to make you more like him. More like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. To pull, because we all got some mess. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus had to come. Yep. Amen. To get this mess out of us. To get it out of us. Yeah, to get it out. To get so it don't out. Resist it. Yep. Let him do his resist. work. Let his him do his work. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you, Lord. In you. And that's what I, uh, what I preached to a uh, a couple of Sundays ago, that's mm. why he's able to cause all things to work together for the good. Mm -hmm. Because he knows you. He knows what you're going to do before you do it. Mm -hmm. He told Judas, go ahead and do what you got to do. Yep. He knew he was going to do it. Nobody came to him with a with a uh, deliver him some mail and said Jesus was going uh, to betray you. He already knew. He knew it. So you're not, I don't care what we do. I must just I'm gonna say we. We're not catching God by surprise. No way. Amen. Because he already got <laughs> he's already causing all things to work together for good. But those that love him and all the mm. yes. Come to his See, he wants more for you sometimes than, let, let's see, we again, than we want for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because somewhere along the line, the enemy has tricked us up to make us feel like we're not worthy. Yep. But if you're more than conquerors, like you said, stick to the facts. Stick to the facts. Then you're worthy. Amen. Yep. I don't care how you fail. Oh, Lord, I'm getting it to my message. But I don't care <laughs> what happens. You can come out. You can come out. I, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, no, man, that was the ultimate sin. You, you, you doomed. You, no, you can come out. No, you can come no, out. You can come out. And one thing, too, that I say, too, sometimes we need, not sometimes, we need to be delivered from people. Yes, man. Because people sometimes can hold when they know they can hold things over your head. Mm. Have mercy. Be delivered from people. Right. There you go. Be delivered. Amen. Be delivered. And when we stick to the facts, it does not matter what man's opinion is about your life what matters is what does god say about you amen, amen. Right. 
What does God say about you? I'm the apple Not, of his eye. Right. You're the apple. Of, I'm the apple of his eye. That's right. That's right, y'all. So be delivered from people. You know, mm -hmm. uh, listen. Uh-huh. I, I was seeing you thinking, you know, man looks at the outward part of you. Yes, mm -hmm. man. And as long as you look good, you smell good, you, you know, you look like you're happy, da -da 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 -da, they think you all good. That's why God looks at the heart, because God knows what's going on in that heart. Yes. Amen. And he knows when you need true deliverance. Deliverance, yes. So, well, man, you may look like you are right, and but God knows exactly what's going on on the inside. On the inside. And when you have love, <laughs> love can carry you some places that you don't even think you should go. That or where you should Amen. be because of how you treat his people, how yeah. you love on his people. Yeah. Mm. You know, old so, people used to say when we were younger, mm -hmm. he said, um, talking to uh talking to us about manners, they say, you know what, son or girl, you keep being mannerable because your manners will take you with. And lost the sound sign. You know, and Jesus said, he talked to the Pharisees, said, y'all look like sepulchers clean on the outside, but on the inside, y'all full of dead man bones. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want y'all to walk away tonight knowing that we gonna stick to the facts and faith Facts and faith. Facts and faith. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts and faith. What God says about you. The character of God and how He loves you. Facts and faith. And understand and know that fear and faith they they don't they don't go together. So when we got facts and faith, don't lose it. And and even when you know God says, "Who told you that you were naked?" It's out of love. It's because He loves you. It's because he loves you, because he said nothing can separate you from his love. Hallelujah. Nothing can separate you. Mm -hmm. So as we begin, to... yes, sir. Uh-huh. Do you remember what Pastor McNair told us about fear? Any one of y'all? What about faith? For fear. fear. What do you call fear? Yeah, Lord. Another thing he preached, he said, don't let, there's nothing or no one important enough for you to miss Jesus when he come back. Amen. That's right. So that, yeah, don't let nothing, nothing or no one. His, no his instructions one. were so simple, but they hit hard. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, they do get hard, but I, I just want to encourage still um, our strength comes from spending time with him and cultivating our relationship with God. That's where our strength comes from. Amen. Comes from praying and reading and reading and praying. That's where we get our strength from. That's how we grow our relationship with God. With Amen. So I just want, again, I just wanted you guys to be encouraged tonight with sticking to the facts and faith and understand although Eve did what she did and told the serpent where everything was, God still covered. Amen. Amen. He still Amen. covered. He Amen. still covered. Amen.
He still covered. So on tonight, before we close, I don't know. Does anybody um is is anybody? I don't know. I feel it. Does anybody need any prayer? Any anything? Yes, ma'am. You can pray for me. All right. I was thinking that when you were asking about um something you had said, and I wanted to say, you know, James chapter five verse sixteen. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that yes. you may be healed because the yes. effectual fervent prayer of the righteous will as much. Feel and I sure heart. want to be healed from my sin sickness. sickness. Amen. 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 Well, as we close tonight, I just want to, you know, again, thank everyone for being on the call. And as we close, we're going to go before the throne of God. Yes. And we're just going to pray. Um, so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We love you. We are so grateful to you. We are so grateful that you are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you for being our good, good shepherd. And you are a good, good father. We ask now for everyone that is on this call on tonight, God, that you would just surround them now, God. Surround them now with your love. Comfort them, God, like only you can, God. Be with them now, God. Let them feel your loving touch around them now, Jesus, God. And I just ask, God, that if anyone is struggling, with sin, shame, hurt, defeat, anything now, God, that you will let them know again, God, that there is nothing that can keep you from them. Nothing can separate you from them, God. Nothing at all. Nothing that you still love them, that you're still calling them to a deeper level with you to have a deeper relationship with you, God. So as the deer pants after the water, God, our soul pants for thee, God. And so we thank you now, Jesus. We thank you for this Bible study. We thank you, God, for, for everyone that is on this call. And as we get off this call on tonight, God, that you would just give them sweet rest on tonight, God. Cause your sons and daughters, God, to dream again, God. Cause them to dream again. Cause their faith to rise up, God. Cause them now to have the authority in their voice to speak to the enemy and let them know the facts of God is that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Let the enemy know, God, in Exodus 14, 14, that we only have to keep still, God, because you are fighting for us, God. Hallelujah. And we thank you for fighting for us, God. We thank you, God, in Psalms 46 and 10, that all we have to do is be still and know that you are God. Be God over our lives. Be God in our situation. In the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God. We thank you now, God. We thank you, God, because great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. We bless you. We thank you. And we pray for Pastor um, Green and, and First Lady Vicki Green, God, as they are in North Carolina, as they are burying um, his kid's mother. God, we ask for comfort. We ask for more love. We ask for just a deeper growth in relationship with the kids now that they are without their mother, God. You know all about it, God. We ask, God, that you would just give them safe traveling um, give them safety, God, as they travel over the highways to come back, God. We thank you now for Pastor Green. We thank you for Lady Vicky, God, that you are just loving on them now in the name of Jesus. We thank God for you. We thank God for them. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Well, that's it for our Bible study, unless somebody else has anything. Thank you for being like Thank you. You've been just great and so. Yes. Amen. So Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Amen. 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 Well, I love you guys. Have a great night. Good night. You too. Good night. Bye bye. Amen. Thank you.